Welcome back everybody. So we're now going to look at how to import your transactions in from the bank. So what we first of all need to do is an export out of our online banking. Now it's tricky to show you this in terms of a real life online banking system. So I've done some screenshots and we'll load those up so that you can see what to do. So we'll go through those and then it's very simple to export information out of your online banking. Um, but what you there is a couple of things that we just need to make sure that you understand. So step one is you go into your online banking in the usual way and you'll obviously pick whichever account you want to export first. So say for instance, um, if this was Abby and Sam, we've got a living account there, but let's just say this says their everyday account. You pick your date that you want to export for. So this will be for May. So we'll take you through what it looks like when Abby and Sam reconcile their bank account and do all their transactions for May. Then you can see everything start to finish. So you'd show your transactions from the first of the month to the end of the month. And then you'd click over here to search export options. And then you'd click search. Uh, and that would bring up all the transactions for that particular month. And then you would come down and when you say export, it gives you a drop down box here of how you can export it. Get exported as a CSV file, as other types of files, but the best one to choose is a QIF file. And that comes over really easily into Home Bank. So choose, it'll say zero, myob, quicken, QIF. As long as it's a QIF file, you'll be fine. And then you click export. And then what you see is you come back into Home Bank and you're going to go through the import process. So that file that you've got here now that you've exported out will sit in your downloads in your computer. So if we jump back into Home Bank, into Abby and Sam, then we go into File, Import, and you can see that you're going to have a whole lot of files that you can choose from. Whatever's in your downloads is going to come up. But you'll choose the one that's your latest QIF. So let's say, for instance, it's this one. And then you will click Open. And then you will follow the prompts. And those prompts then say, you pick your file like we just did. And then the prompts will say, what account do you want to import your transactions into? So you're going to choose the everyday account. So here is the everyday account for Abby and Sam. And you're going to make sure that the date order is correct because it's set up for US date order. So you want to change it for New Zealand to be DMY, date, month, year. And as you can see, if there's transactions already sitting in the system, in, in your um, list for that account, it will cross them out. It tries not to double up. Sometimes you'll get some double ups, but it will cross out ones that are already there. So all you then do is click Next. If you're happy with this, you'll click Next and then click Apply. And those transactions will come across into that particular account. So if we look at the everyday account, you can see that Abby and Sam now have a whole bunch of transactions sitting in ready to be categorized and what we call reconciled. Reconciled is just a fancy name for saying you're going to check what's in your online banking system to your home bank system and it doesn't take very long and it's quite, it's quite simple to do. So we'll leave it there for that five minutes and we're going to come back for another five minute slot and start categorizing all of these transactions. And you'll see there's fast ways to do it as well. So we'll pick up, um, pick up with you in a moment.